What's up, boys and girls? Your boy Tech Raj, and I'm back for another episode of the No Money Spent Squad. Now, yesterday we talked about how rich we were. We have even more coins now, freaking 238,900 coins. I told you guys we had three updates to make for a while now. You guys have been telling me, Tech, go ahead and upgrade that tight end position. So we're gonna do that today. You guys have also been saying, hey, Tech, you know what? Get yourself a new right outside linebacker. We like Shaq Thompson, but we have somebody for you that we should think you think you would like. And then you guys know I'm a deep throw, log cheeser, bomb squad cheeser. So any receiver or receiving type player that'll have 99 speed, you guys want me to be all over him. So let's get to the upgrades. Now, I definitely wanted to say that I'm not fully sold on all these upgrades. Uh, for a number of reasons, but we'll talk about it here real quick. Now, the first one that you guys have definitely wanted me to get, you guys wanted me to get 97 overall Tyler Eifert. Now, I want you to look at how much it costs, 66,500. He only has 91 speed and 89 route running, but he does have 78 run block, 98 catch, however, 96 catch in traffic, 99 spec catch, and 94 release. Now, at first, I wasn't too sold, but then the more I thought about it, I said, you know what? Those are some pretty beast stats as far as the catching goes that I can't really say no. Now, you guys did specifically tell me though, Tech, keep Ladarius Green as the backup, very important to us. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up this Tyler Eifert. Now, the other one is an oldie, but a goodie. It's actually Lawrence Taylor. Many people have told me, pick up this Lawrence Taylor. Now, he's not as fast as Shaq Thompson. Does have crazy acceleration, really good tackle. Play rec at 87 is not that bad, but he does have 96 block shed with 98 pursuit. 94 hit power, which is a big deal since I do run a 3-4 scheme. Now, the catch is only a 62. Let's go take a look at his zone coverage and see what that is looking like. Because, guys, as much as you may think so or you may not think so, zone coverage is important. So, only 72 zone coverage. You know what? I'm not mad. I'm going to trust you guys on this one. Let's go ahead and pick up Lawrence Taylor as our right outside linebacker. Now... This other one, guys, that I'm about to pick up, I'm picking him up because he's actually at a steal right now. You might be thinking, Tech, what are you doing? But people told me, pick up speed Tony Gonzalez, 99 speed. Look how trash the fucking run block is, though, but 101 route running, 72 catch, though? But 95 spec catch, guys. You guys have been bugging me for a while. He finally got cheap enough for me to do it. So I'm gonna go pick him up. Now, there is one thing that I do have to show you guys while I'm working through that. And I'm gonna work my way over here. I'm gonna change this to wide receiver because there's a huge debate that's been spawning in the comment section, which by the way, I love the way that you guys have been supporting the comment section. I always have those trolls. And the funniest trolls guys are the ones that are going and post comments and you can tell they haven't watched pretty much any one of my videos because they'll say shit like, man, my no money spent squad is like nine and overall. Ain't nobody wanna see these 94 players. Get the fuck out of here with that. Bruh, you've been grinding since the beginning of the season. I just now started doing this shit, so get the fuck out of here. The other ones are the funny ones that just like every one of my gameplays, they pick apart my gameplay like if they could actually get in front of me and beat me, or like if they can fucking drop YouTube videos themselves and do this on a regular basis. The other wide receiver I wanted to show you guys was this Mike Wallace. A lot of people have been telling me to pick him up. Now, somebody said to pick him up because the 93 flashback Mike Wallace that it has has a trait where he drops open passes, and they claim this one doesn't. This one does too, my nigga. So we gotta look at that. But everybody said get this upgraded version because he does have one more speed. He has slightly better route running and a whole bunch of other stats. I don't know what you guys think. We're obviously not gonna pick him up now because we've already exhausted all of our upgrade opportunities. All right, so here's what the squad looks like now. This is the offense. And then of course, here's the defense. We've kept Ladarius Green at the backup tight end position. With the linebacking crew, it's looking pretty great. We did those three upgrades. Still have 103,950 coins. Let's go out to the field and see what we got. Now, if you don't remember, in yesterday's episode, we had a hard-fought game in which we were able to clinch a first-round bye. So we're in the divisional round, ready to make a nice little playoff run and hopefully make it to the Super Bowl so we can go up another division. All right, so we're at home against somebody who's wearing the Giants uniforms. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good today. Y'all better be right about fucking Tony Gonzalez. I'm telling you right now. Now, I'm just going to let you know, Tony Gonzalez is not a player that I'm going to keep on my team for a long time. 
Just based on the fact that, guys, he's an out-of-position player who is broken. He has 99 speed, but he's missing catch and, like, run block. It'd be stupid for me to keep him on the team, but I figured it'd be pretty fun, especially with how low that he's going. Cover three for my opponent. Let's try... Bruh. Ooh, is, is this cover four? It looks more like a disguise cover three to me since that strong safety there inch forward. But we're just gonna try it anyway and see what we can do. And another, a nice little nano up the middle. A nice little nano up the middle. I'm not gonna try to get everything back here. I'm gonna go for a fourth down anyway. Cause I mean, screw it, right? And a catch there by Gonzalez, yo, for somebody who doesn't have good catch. That was pretty beast. I love what happened there, but if you notice, my opponent's called cover three pretty much every play. That was in traffic, and he caught it and did not drop it. I'm very impressed with what just happened there. So I'm going to try another cover three as well, and uh, let's see let's see if we can get something going. All right, here we go. I throw it up. Oh, let's see if we can catch it in the air, but unfortunately, he couldn't there. I think my opponent's just going to go for a cover three pretty much every play. So we're going to have to try to exploit that every way that we can. And we get a block shed there from my opponent. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we got going on. Maybe he'll audible out of what he's been doing lately. I throw it up, but I get hit again. Un looks like my offensive line just can't hold on to anything. It's getting a little frustrating. All right, so we're going to come out one more time. I have one more kind of uh, cover one beater if you got a cover three beater let's see if we can get this if not we'll have green open on the sideline at least and guys I can't get anything off he's in the backfield immediately on every play all right so we have to make up for it on defense I have to switch up my scheme because even with max protect sliding somebody and all that stuff like that I'm still getting somebody in the backfield every time so he starts off the game on two clock right in the first quarter so we already know what kind of game it's going to be. And we get an interception forcing something early. So we get the ball back. So because of what my opponent's running, I'm not going to be able to sit back in the pocket. Obviously, my linemen by himself aren't going to be able to make things happen for me. So I got to make something else happen here. All right, so here we go. I still expect my opponent to be out in the cover three. Let's see if we can make something happen here. We're going to throw it deep. One-on-one. -on -one. Tony Gonzalez. What can he do? And we throw an interception. He, I couldn't get the aggressive catch off there with him. And, yep, it was a cover three one more time. And there's nobody in the middle of the field. He gets a first down. I expect him to go four verticals here. And we get the sack. So fourth down for my opponent. All right, so here we go. I expect my opponent to be in the backfield almost immediately. And we throw it up. There is actually Terrence Williams at this time. And we're able to get a touchdown. Not Tony Gonzalez, though. Oh, and we get a big hit. And he gets EA'd. My opponent got EA'd, and that sucks for him because his player was there. But that's the problem with the AI in this game. You'll have players all around the ball, but they won't be able to pick it up for some reason. All right, so here we go. We got a play action pass. Ooh, and that was thrown to the ground, batted at the line of scrimmage. All right, so we did pick up Eifert as well, guys. I like what I saw for him as far as a receiving tight end goes. And we hit it out to Eifert. He's able to get us a quick touchdown. So we're up 14-0. Oh, it looks like that's going to be it for my opponent. And my opponent pretty much just shut off the Xbox. We're going to go into another game, though, because that wasn't quite enough. All right, so we're going to go into our championship game now. My opponent... Pretty much, I guess, just had the cover three and then that cover zero blitz. But I mean, he was doing pretty good. I wasn't doing any kind of strategy that last game. That last game, I was just trying to get the ball to Tony Gonzalez. Because everybody, everybody said, Tech, if you really want to cheese, go get yourself that Tony Gonzalez. So that's what I was going to try to do. And guess what? I'm going to do it in this game, too. The reason I can do it in this game, too, guys, is because just so you guys know, like, when I would do player reviews, I had no intention of winning any game. It would just kind of happen that way. 
Like, all I would ever do was, like, if I had a receiver, I'm trying to cheese that receiver every fucking play. If I had a quarterback, I'm trying to throw deep. I'm trying to make ridiculous throws and put myself in bad situations. And if I had a running back, I'd be running the ball 30 times, which is crazy for a mud game. So, there you have it. If you don't like the way I play, I'm glad I don't say all right, so here we go, conference championship game. We're gonna be on the road. For some reason, guys, I guess I'm really OCD with this. It annoys the hell out of me when I see somebody like have uniforms of one team, but then play in the stadium of another team. Does that happen to anybody else? Like, I feel like I got a match when it comes to that shit, you know what I mean? Now, I was really impressed with how Tony Gonzalez did in that first game, as far as like catching stuff in traffic. That was pretty nuts, that he was able to make a catch like that. Uh, and bail me out on what could have been catastrophic for me on that drive. That's why I'm not sure why my opponent quit, given the fact that like he was doing pretty good in stopping us. Whatever he was doing was getting pressure in deep right away. All right, so here we go. We're gonna test it one more time for Tony Gonzalez, and we get the crazy animation. The crazy animation, and he gets the tackle on the catch. Jesus. I'm freaking tongue-tied because I can't believe what just happened. All right, we're going to get into the strong close, but I'm actually going to be going out here to Tony. Tony catching the ball and getting his first touchdown for us. Wow. So we get my opponent pausing after the first play. Hopefully, we're not going to get a quit. If we do get a quit, we're going to have to just go ahead and go with the playoffs. All right, so here we go. First and ten. My opponent has the ball, throws it up the middle for the short game. Here we go, second and seven for my opponent. He's in the pistol formation. We're gonna have the ball, and we get a hit off on the quarterback. All right, third and seven. And we get a nice interception from Darby, even though we moved Darby into the slot. We've still been having some pretty good success with him on man-on-man -man situations. Now we did get a we did get a touchdown from Eifert in that first game. So I was very happy seeing what happened there. Ooh, and Eifert for the crazy catch. That was fucking stupid. And if I were my opponent, I'd be really upset right now. Cause I did not deserve to get that catch off. But uh whatever. Alright, now I'm faking all these like things that I'm doing pretending to be calling the shots and I'm just gonna be running the ball now here we go unfortunately my opponent doesn't have anybody really up the middle that matters so we're gonna give it to Dantari Poe and he's gonna run it in for a touch oh is he throwing punches oh shit all right so here we go second and ten he tried oh and he gets a broken tackle this is gonna be a big game for him now we're gonna have Tony Jefferson trying to chase him down, and unfortunately not, but one broken tackle, that's what it can lead to. We called a pretty good play, but unfortunately, when you got a pretty good running back that you're going up against, those are the kind of things that can happen. So we get the ball back. Let's see if my opponent was able to make anything happen, or if he has any other schemes for me, because that first drive and the second drive didn't look too good for your boy. Now, he was calling some mid blitzes and things of that nature, so I'm going to see if I can test him again with Tony Gonzalez. I really like what I saw from him, so let's check him out on this drive. Now, we're going to have some time. We're going to have some time, and we're going to have some space all by himself. Tony Gonzalez, wow. Yeah, damn it. All right, so here we go. First and 10, we get a nice little hit on the quarterback. All right, so here we go. My opponent throws it up, but Dion Buchanan with the interception, and we got the ball. All right, so it looks like my opponent's calling like some kind of cover three or something like that. It's either a cover three or a cover one. I like what I'm seeing here. Now we're gonna snap the ball. Let's see what we got going on. Throwing it up to Tony Gonzalez, and oh my God. Oh my God. Bro, that should have been a fucking interception, and they gave me that catch. Oh, I feel like sending my opponent an apology message. Damn, son. You guys were right about fucking Tony Gonzalez, bro. He is a fucking cheesy-ass 
motherfucking player. That's some bullshit. Oh my god. I feel guilty, guys. I feel really bad, bro. Like, you guys are right in the comment section. Dude, I shouldn't be winning like this. Sight, nigga! <laughs> anyway, so I guess for this victory, guys, we should get a couple things. Here we go. We should get a couple seasons badges for it. I'm going to go ahead and put these into the sets, even though I'm not really concerned with it. But I know we can get some all right players from this. So I'm going to go ahead and put those into there as well. I think it takes 10 for us to get it. We should have two now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so another Seasons Pro badge, and we're going to get another badge. I've actually gotten like Elite and Legend badges right there. I see another Gold badge. So we'll go ahead and put that up on the market, and then we'll sell it as well. Um, all right, guys. So then the th that's going to be it for the gameplay as far as the episode goes. Uh, we earned ourselves four upgrades, technically. Four upgrades. It's up to you guys. So here's the deal. Uh, what I was thinking about, uh, since there's not going to be a lot more up a lot more upgrades that we're going to be able to do, based on the fact that like obviously our team's already at 95 overall. What we'll do is instead of doing like four players like we're doing right now, two players are going to count for somebody that's 50k and above is going to count as two players. Does that make sense? So for example, that first rage quit, we earned two upgrades. I can either get two sub 50k players or one player 50k or above. Does that make sense? Um, so in this case, I can get two 50k plus players. So the question is, where do we upgrade next? Okay. Um, I didn't even really get, uh, I had some nice pressure from Lawrence Taylor, didn't have too many sacks from him. But I think he's going to be all right in that position as far as rush, rushing the quarterback. Because even if they pick up my blitzes, his block shot's going to be enough to get him out of there. Uh, the other thing is, should we actually keep Tony Gonzalez there? Or should we actually go for a receiver that's actually going to have 99 speed? Now, I like Tyler Eifert. Gave us some crazy animations. But if you watch my play review from the team of the year one, I kind of expected that. So I think this is a pretty good upgrade there. But other than that, guys, what am I missing? Who else should I upgrade? Now, obviously, the offensive line was getting bullied in that first game. But let me, let me know. You guys always know better than I do. I'll tell you that right now. Which is why I love this series. Because I don't fancy myself as somebody who's an expert at Madden. Or Mutt for that matter. I just rely on the community and you guys' support. Mwah. But anyway, thank you so much for that, guys. Like if you're liking the series. Which I can tell you guys are just by the support you're giving it. Subscribe if you're new. But most importantly, take care of yourself.